Second group is what we call compassion. So compassion is a uh, few things you can do. Uh, so being in a loving relationship is very important. So this is the first category. And I want to stress a bit on this and, and sometimes it could be slightly controversial. So they have found from research without a doubt, being in a relationship is better than being single. Okay, so this this have uh, empirical study to show this, right? Now, for those out there who, who are single, don't 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 misunderstand or, or don't get upset with me, right? Uh, but they also have found that if you in a relationship, you need to be in a loving relationship. That means you and your partner need to love and support each other. Okay, so if you are in a relationship where you go back and you see your spouse and you feel anger, annoyance, and hatred just by seeing him or her. Ah, then it's better off they found not to be in a relationship, right? But I trust you have a good relationship with your spouse and if you are in one, ah, continue to be in companionship with your spouse. That is very important because it builds mental resilience. Second, it's very interesting, uh, is to have pets that you can pet. Uh, and in this research, uh, Dr. Boyatis actually specifically put out uh, dogs, cats, monkeys and horses and not fishes okay and uh, when i first uh, did this research i was trying very hard to understand why uh, unless until i i teach that in one class and one one of my participants say uh Mui Han, uh i i am a dog lover you know i have a dog you know why this make a lot of sense is because for those of you who have dog and cats probably you can you can affirm this uh, i i have my either sorry because my wife is allergic to furry animals uh, it feels that when you have trouble and you Tell your pets, uh, especially the dog and the cat, of your trouble in office. For instance, you have a big disargument argument with your boss and you come back, you're very upset. You know? When you talk to your dog and cat, you will notice that your pet would actually have somewhat empathetic ear for you. In fact, the way they look, the way they sound, you know, and, and they come and just you know, uh, stroll under your leg and things like that. And with that itself is a very, very calming effect. Right? So from research, they found that you have this kind of pets that you can pet. Actually, it's very, very helpful to build your mental resilience, right? Uh, so fishes cannot do that. Uh. Fishes just look at you and their mouth is just keep opening in that sense, right? Uh, volunteering activities also in this category and also helping family members, especially those who are elderly and disabled, right? 